Hi, my name is BC Hoffman. Hi, I'm Lolita LaPansery. And we are doing meatloaf today on Recipe Wars. So we're actually taking the bad recipes that we did last episode and we're tweaking them and making them good meatloaf recipes. So real simple, the first key ingredient is beer because <laughs> it makes everything taste better. <laughs> to <laughs> drink with your meatloaf. <laughs> exactly. So on this one, I'm going epic. I'm going big. I'm going gargantuan. Did I say epic? That's right. I'm going epic mealtime style on y'all. I'm going to get bacon. I'm going to wrap it up with my meatloaf. I'm going to do ground beef. Ground sausage, ground pork, ground veal, and it's gonna be big! Just for you viewers at home, <laughs> that's how we do. All right, so I am taking I love mine, by the way. which had, which had t turkey to start off. I'm still gonna use turkey, but I'm gonna add some good loving pork in there. I'm probably gonna use a little bit of the spinach, some of the aromatics, um, but it's gonna be a lot better. Let's get it started. Right. Okay, first thing to start off, I'm gonna add a little celery in there. Just gonna do a quick chop on that. So mine had the sliced onions and I had to put in a food processor, but this time I'm just gonna take the onions, already mince it up. Um, I'm still gonna saute it, but I'm not gonna bust out the food processor, which is another thing to clean, which I don't wanna do that. Yeah, who wants to clean? Come on, I just wanna eat. No placenta this time, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so I've got my celery, it's gonna be a quick chop. Um, I'm gonna throw that in, I'm gonna throw in some chopped onion. I'd say about one small onion, fully chopped. I am going to throw in just a wee bit of brown sugar in there. Then I'm going to throw in some ketchup. That's right, get it on your hands, ladies and gentlemen. It's getting dirty. It's getting big. It's getting styling. Styling. Gundam style. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to throw in some garlic. Chop that up nicely. That's what I got to <laughs> say to that. Oh. Did you want some garlic? No, I'm already way ahead of you and I got mine. Well, fine, I wasn't going to give you any winning. So I'm just going to saute it until it's softened up. In the meantime, while my aromatics are sauteing, I'm going to add a little bit of breadcrumbs. And I'm going to soften those up with some milk. I'm actually going to do the same method that you're doing with the breadcrumbs, except I'm going to do that with my beer. And uh, I'm also going to put in... Oh, sticking with the beer, huh? Yeah, I'm sticking with the beer. I mean, it, it was from the original recipe, so I mean, I'm... I'm taking that recipe and I'm just slightly tweaking it and adding in a couple key things that I think are necessary, like more pork. So right here I've got my ground pork, I've got a little veal. Doing the ground beef. So again, this is pretty much what the recipe called for, minus the um, fresh garlic, which I just use now. They didn't use in the last one, they used garlic powder, which is fine, whatever, but that's why it tastes like placenta. Um, and then I'm gonna throw in some actual sausage, and we're gonna throw in ah, ground bacon. You've got every single pork product in there. <laughs> Why not? I've been told that the best ratio for meatloaf, meatloaf is 50% ground beef, 25% ground pork for the flavor, and then 25% of ground veal um, to get it gelatinous and juicy. Whoever told you that's a liar. <laughs> so with mine, I'm gonna do still the turkey. I'm fattening it up with some bacon and some of the pork sausage. So I'm gonna grab breadcrumbs. I'm gonna throw those in there. And I'm just gonna take my ale, pour that right in there, get that soaking. Then I'm gonna put a little Dijon in there. A little oh, shisha. Sh and now I'm gonna add my aromatics in there. And I'll still do the oregano like they did in the original recipe as well. And with mine, I'm going to add some fresh herbs. None of that dried mint stuff or cloves. And I'm also going to add a little bit of ground cumin. A little salt, a little pepper. And uh, just for good measure, I'm actually going to add in some onion powder too. So my herbs are going to be some minced parsley, a little bit of thyme, and chives and of course my egg as my binder. Okay, so in my binder, I'm also gonna add in a little Parmesan cheese, the onion that I said, a little onion powder, granulated onion, and lastly, 
just for good measure. Just a little sriracha going right in here with an egg. Uh, to mine, I'm going to add a little sambal chili paste for my kicker. Oh, you copying me, huh, girl? You, you want you want to go with a little Asian heat, huh? Well, I am Asian heat, so yeah. Um, I'm still going to put spinach in there, but not a lot because my um, old recipe had way too much spinach in there. Season it up with some salt and pepper. So I'm just going to put my uh, mixed up meatloaf into a loaf pan and then unmold it and put it onto a sheet pan. I'm getting dirty. You always get dirty. Yeah, get down with your bad self. <laughs> You don't want to overmix the meatloaf. Again, guys, if you didn't watch the last episode, watch it. But I also said you don't want to overmix the meatloaf. And the reason why is because it will become just a tough Meat and paste. dry loaf. You don't want that. You want something that's wet, that won't crumble apart, but at the same time keep its form, and that's not super juicy. OK, so your loaf is ready to go. My loaf is almost completely ready. What I'm going to just do now is take it, form it, and throw it around with bacon. I'm going to basically just create a nice blanket for the meatloaf to go in with the bacon around. Thank you. The leader just inspired me with that one. That was good thinking. So, that was smarter than the average bear, which I am not. So I put my meatloaf into my loaf pan, just unmolded it like it was jello, and put it on a sheet pan. And then I'm going to prepare this nice glaze that's going to make it beautiful, kind of crust on there. Crest, which crescent. didn't have on my bad loaf recipe. So with mine, I'm going to take some ketchup, Worcestershire, a little bit of honey. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some apple cider vinegar, and a little more of that chili sambal paste. Whisk that together. Smells good. It sounds great. <laughs> and then just kind of paint it right on top. Like finger paint or? You would use your hands, BC. Probably. OK, I'm going to just throw one more piece of bacon in. Why not? Because this is going big. This is going epic mealtime style. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> So right there, they would actually make like a blanket of bacon. I'm just doing like a little quilt compared to their blankets. But that's what we're doing. Then we're going to throw in our loaf itself. I'm which... just going to call yours a bacon loaf because that's what it is. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. So the old recipe is set to bake it at 350, but I want to try it slow and low. Uh, that is the tempo. That is the tempo at 325. So I'm going to get that started while you finish yours. Yeah. So I'm literally just wrapping the bacon around my pork drowned loaf, essentially, in the pan. So that way it's actually formed already. And then I'm going to remove it, put it on a broil pan, basically. It'll drain the excess fat. You ready for this, guys? Boom. It's happening. It is. My hands are covered in bacon grease right now. Would you like some help there? Oh, I got it. I oh, got it. you got it. Oh, man. Does that not look killer? Now, what could make this even better, you ask? <laughs> Besides pork pork? I'll tell you. A little jalapeno. Yeah, that's right. And we're just kind of put those right on top of that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is ready to go in the oven. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, welcome back. So we just pulled our meatloafs out of the oven, and we are ready to taste these amazing. What happened to your jalapenos over there? Um, I don't know. Didn't you eat one and have to go and Got resort a nice to drinking char. milk? Yeah, yeah. Nice burnt char over what there. What happened to the rest of your meatloaf? <laughs> well. Ah. Mine's oh, not... that's the entire thing. Yeah. Oh, it's cute. It's really cute. Yeah, it's cute. It's got a nice, beautiful glaze on it. Yeah. It looks a lot more moist than bad loaf we did earlier. Yeah, than bad loaf. That but looks this, like a totally different animal. This. Right there. This is a pig wrapped in bacon. Um, let's try mine first. Alrighty, let's do it. That is good. It's a lot more moist than the other one. It's still got the spinach in there. That is really good. And on top of the fact that it's good, that sauce is awesome. Heck yeah. Boom! We wait, wait, it. wait. We'll do it in slow-mo. Mm. Let's 
try yours. Let's go for it. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Mmm. <laughs> There's something to be said about something that's cooked as it's wrapped in bacon and picks up all that excess bacon flavor. That pork just saturated. If you don't like pork, ladies and gentlemen, avoid this meatloaf. This is extra bacony. Wow. I don't, I, I don't want to be biased. I mean, yours is really good meatloaf. But. Mine is bacon, <coughs> and more bacon, and sausage, and ground pork, and I veal. I like yours better. And whoa, I didn't, I, even, I didn't even go to on. I was like, hey, hey. Because hers was good. Hers was really good. If you're going to make either of these recipes, by all means, they're both delicious, nutritious, and oh so tasty. However, I think it was your bacon wrapped thing going on. Mine's more healthy. <laughs> <laughs> That being said, I think it goes without saying anymore. Lolita gave it an official, and uh, I was biased. Oh, my glaze is awesome. If this had that glaze, I would have melted, I think. <laughs> I'm melting, melting. <laughs> that being said, bacon wrapped meatloaf is the way to go with that glaze. My name is BC Hoffman. And I'm Lolita Latansery. Please subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and now subscribe to our email list. You guys keep watching, we'll keep cooking. This is how you do a good meatloaf. <laughs>